operation is an augmentation mastopexy or breast lift. Uh, she's kind of laying down so you don't see her droop. She's got just a little bit of natural breast droop. We're going to tighten that up and she wants more fullness and be a little bit larger. That's where we're going to add the implant. These marks are where the implants are going to go. These marks here are where the incisions and scars are going to go for the lift. For an augmentation, you can just do a little tiny incision. Uh, for a lift, unfortunately, we need a scar all the way around the nipple. And some combination of that, usually plus a vertical scar, and sometimes even a little scar on the knee, depending on the length of the breast. For her, it's going to be around the nipple, lollipop scar, and then just a little bit underneath. Is we're going to inject this with local anesthetic. Um, we're doing this with a deep sedation. She's sleeping up that she's not feeling any of this. She's just napping. But we've got to make it numb enough so we can do the operation and keep her comfortable. And uh, the epinephrine in the mix is going to make it so it doesn't bleed. So first we're going to make all the incisions and take the top layer of skin off here. Now we're going to deepithelialize this, which is taking this top layer of skin off, moving all the blood supply up the nipple that we can. So we've got it all deepithelialized. This will end up coming together there to there, that there to there. It's really easy just to release it and close it, um, but then we'd be relying on the skin to hold the shape of the breast, which just doesn't do a very good job. It would just droop again. So we're going to take this tissue here and bring it way up into here to give us some durability. And how we're going to do that for her, everybody's a little different, but for her we're going to make a little incision along the top of this, all the way along here, and make a little tunnel up there to put and secure all this tissue up. Because the last thing you want to do is get a beautiful result on the table that in a year just drops right back down and you end up with the same amount of droop that you had to begin with. So we're going to release all this. We've got to keep a blood supply to this nipple, so it's going to come through here and here. We're going to end up releasing down here as well, so this can all move up. And this will come down into a little tunnel that we're going to create right now, up in here, anchoring it up. So I've made this little pocket here. This is where the top of that implant is going to go, if you can see the marks there. And what we're going to do is we're going to augment with her own breast tissue. You can do this with a lift without an implant as well, but she happens to want to go a little bit bigger. We're going to take her breast tissue, and we're going to put it into this little pocket we've created, which is going to anchor that nipple up and give us more fullness. And then we're going to just release here as much or as little as we need to, just to be able to get this to come up without tension. And that uh, should do fabulously. And like I said, we can do this without an implant and get a really good result as well. And you notice it's not bleeding very much, and most of that's because of the epinephrine and the injection that we put in there, which makes it so we can do this, like I say, under local with sedation. So now we've just got this anchor, we've got some deep stitches up in here, we've got this kind of held up in there, it'll look a whole lot prettier when we get this up and closed. I just made a little incision down here, this is where we're going to put the implant in, we just made it basically in the breast tissue. Now we're going to get down beneath the muscle, which sits down here if we can find it. Just gonna release a little bit of breast tissue. Get my elbows out of the way here. Get right down to the muscle, which you can see right here. I'm gonna lift it up. Make a pocket for the implant underneath that muscle, which is right here. Now we start out just a little gentle sweeping of the tissue. There's a good little plane there that that implant wants to sit into. There's a muscle that inserts right here we're going to have to release, and a little bit right through here that we're going to have to release. Now I put this little light retractor in there just to retract with the light so we can see. And we're going to create a little pocket and release this part of the muscle right through here. And that'll do it. So now we've done same thing on both sides. We've got this elevated and secured. On this side, we've created this pocket. 
here and here, and we're just comparing both pockets to make sure that they're equal. Um, and the right dimension, size, shape. So we're going to put the implants in, we've got the pockets created. And just after we close, we're going to put some local anesthetic through there, which is going to give her a lot of pain relief. So first is putting the implant in. And she elected for saline implants. She's got enough breast tissue and coverage over here that that's a good option for her. For somebody who is really thin through there, doesn't have any breast tissue, may choose silicone implants, which would uh, be a little bit softer and more natural feeling. So the advantage of a saline implant is we have a little bit of adjustability with it. It's um, a little bit less expensive. And although in this case she's got a long scar either way, but if it's just for an augmentation, the, the scar can be a little bit shorter with, with the saline implant. But a silicone implant undoubtedly feels a little bit better and is less likely to ripple, which again for her isn't a big issue. And she's going to go to 425 which what she has plus 425, she's going to end up, oh, roughly a full D cup. So now we've just released the skin here just a little bit, the skin here just a little bit. Blood supply to the nipple and all of this tissue is coming up through here, through here, the nerves, sensation, even ability to breastfeed if she wanted to in the future should be intact. We released it just a little bit here so that we can get this to all close without tension to make a nice pretty scar and allow this to elevate without tension. So we're just going to temporarily close this one and then put an implant on the other side and temporarily close the other and um, see where we're at. This one we're just going to put it, uh, this is the little keyhole, we're going to bring that together. See it comes together really easily without any tension which is going to help us make a nice scar. So we've got both implants in, we've got both sides temporarily closed, uh, just the deep sutures in, we've still got to obviously finish the closure. Um, points of note, up here after a lift or lift with implants, my thought is to always overdo the fullness here, underdo the fullness here, because time and gravity things will settle, and when they do, a perfect result on the table can turn a little bit bottomed out look. So from the oblique, you can see the top of this is really rounded and full, which is what we want. And a little bit flat here, because it all settles down, we get a little bit more here and a little bit less here. I'm not gonna freak out. So we're just finishing the last bit. We've lightened her sedation up. She's uh, now talking. This is nothing. And they're uh, filming her. Lighting, lightening her up and getting her ready to go. She'll actually walk from here to the recovery room by herself. When we turn off the anesthesia, it goes away really quickly. Do you want to say something for the camera? Or How do you, you feel? I feel wonderful. That's good. I just want to see the end result. You will. I'll show you. It'll be just a second, okay? I've got about 20 more stitches, and then we'll be all done. Now I'll show you, okay? I love you, John Jerry Yates. <laughs> okay, so this is all done. Uh, incisions are all closed. We're just going to put some tapes on all of these, bind her up, and we'll be good to go.